A net is a two-dimensional pattern of a three-dimensional figure that can be folded to form the figure. Some common nets that we might see are cube, rectangular prism, triangular prism, cylinders, or pyramids. In all of these, you can see the shape and then the net that can be used to create it. For each one of these, if you folded these along the edges, you could create the three-dimensional figure shown. We are going to use nets to find surface area of three-dimensional figures. Surface area is the area of each two-dimensional surface or face on a three-dimensional figure. We use nets to find surface area by finding the area of each face and then adding all of those areas together to find total surface area. In this figure, we have a rectangular prism and you can see that the rectangular prism has been unfolded into a net here. We are going to use this net to find the surface area of the prism. To find surface area, we need to find the area of each face or each side of this figure. I know that because this is a rectangular prism, every face is a rectangle. So every face is going to be have an area that is found by doing area equals base times height. So if I start with this first rectangle, I know that this longest side is the same as this, so it is six. I also know that because this is two and this is two, I know that this side will fold up to meet this side, which means that this also has a measure of two. So to find the area of this rectangle, I would multiply six times two to get an area of 12 centimeters squared. Now I can move on to this rectangle. I know that this rectangle has a height of two and this is a base of three, which I can tell by looking at this rectangle over here. So to find the area, I'm going to multiply three times two, which gives me an area of six centimeters squared. Now let's look at this large area. This has a height of six, and I see that this has a base of three. So to find the area, I'm going to do this three times six to get an area of 18 centimeters squared. Now I can look at this rectangle. I know that this rectangle is equivalent to this rectangle, so I can do three times two again to get another area of six centimeters squared. Now for this rectangle, I see that this has a base of two, and I know that this is a height of six, so I'm going to multiply two times six to get an area of 12 centimeters squared. This rectangle has a base of three and a height of six. So to find the area, I'm going to multiply three times six to get an area of 18 centimeters squared. To find the total surface area, I'm going to take the area of each of these faces and add them together. So I'm going to add 12 plus 18 plus 12 plus 18 plus six, plus six. 12 plus 18 is 30. 30 plus 12 is 42. 42 plus 18 is 60. 60 plus six is 66. And 60 plus six, or 66 plus six is 72. That means that this rectangular prism has a total surface area of 72 square centimeters. This means that to cover this rectangular prism, we would need 72 square meters of a fabric or a wrapping paper or paint. Now we're going to use this net of a triangular prism to find the surface area of the prism. You'll notice that this figure is composed of triangles and rectangles. So, when I'm finding the area of my rectangles, 
I'm going to use the formula area equals base times height. But when I'm finding the area of the triangles, I need to remember that that formula is area equals one half base times height. So if we start with our rectangles, we see that this rectangle has a base of 10 and a height of eight. So to find the area, I'm going to multiply 10 times eight, which gives me an area of 80 centimeters squared. Now I can look at this rectangle. I notice that this has a base of 10 and also has a height of eight. So this is 10 times eight, which is also 80 centimeters squared. This rectangle has the same measurements as the other two, a base of 10 and a height of eight. So 10 times eight gives me a surface area here of 80 centimeters squared. Now we need to find the areas of our triangles. Our triangles have bases of 10. We know that both of these measurements are 10. And then they each also have a height of 8.7. So if I'm finding the area of that triangle, I have to multiply one half times base times height or one half times 10 times 8.7. If I multiply one half times 10, I get five. And then I have to multiply five times 8.7, which gives me an area of 43.5 centimeters squared. That means that each of these triangles has an area of 43.5 centimeters squared. To find my total surface area, I'm going to take all of these areas and add them together. So I have 80 plus 80 plus 80 plus 43.5 plus 43.5. If I add all of these together, I get 327. So this triangular prism has a total surface area of 327 centimeters squared. Next, I'm going to use this net to find the surface area of this square pyramid. I'm going to start by finding the area of my square. That is a rectangle, so I'm just going to multiply three base is which is my base times three which is also my height which gives me an area of nine inches squared now I need to find the area of my triangles remember that my triangles have a formula of area equals one half times base times height each of these triangles has a base that measures three so this is going to be one half times three times a height of eight. So I'm going to multiply one half times three, which gives me 1.5. And then I'm going to multiply 1.5 times eight, which gives me 12. So each triangle is going to have an area of 12 inches squared. To find the total surface area of this pyramid, I'm going to add all of my areas together. So 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus 12 plus nine. When I add all of this together, I get 57 inches squared. That means that this pyramid has a total surface area of 57 inches squared. Next, I see that higher end has a wooden figure in the shape of a triangular prism. If she wants to cover each surface with paint, how much paint will she need? Well, I know that if we are covering a figure, that means that we need to find surface area. Surface area is going to be the area of each face of this figure. When I'm finding area of each face, I need to do this one at a time. I notice that this triangular prism has two triangular faces, and then it has three rectangular faces. That means there is a total of five faces to find. So let's start with our triangles. Our triangles are going to 
have an area of one half times base times height. So I see that my triangles have a base of four. So I'm going to multiply one half times four times a height. Now, it's easy to mess up here and think that seven is the height, but seven is actually the slant height right here. The height, if we remember, has to come from a right angle. So the height would be this measure from here all the way down to the four. And that is six centimeters. So to find the area, I'm going to multiply one half times four, which is two, and then two times six, which is 12. So each of these triangles has an area of 12 centimeters squared. So I know this triangle is 12 centimeters squared, and I know this triangle is also 12 centimeters squared. Now I need to find the area of each of the rectangular faces. I notice that this rectangular face has a base of 12 and a height of 7. So to find its area, I'm going to do base times height, 12 times 7, which is an area of 84 centimeters squared. So this face has an area of 84 centimeters squared. Now, this space on the other side also has a height of seven and a base of 12. So this space also has an area of 84 centimeters squared. However, the rectangle on the bottom is a little bit different. It does have a height of 12, but its base is not seven, it's four because it's right here. So this rectangle is going to be a base of four times a height of 12, which is an area of 48 centimeters squared. So the bottom of this has an area of 48 centimeters squared. To find my total surface area, I'm going to add all five of these areas. So I have 12 plus 48 plus 84, plus 12, plus 84. When I add all of these together, I get a total surface area of 240 centimeters squared. This means that Hiren needs to have 240 square centimeters of paint.